guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and hello, hi, how are we all doing? Um, wow, it is really great to finally be back and doing a video. And to be honest, it's really nice that we're not going to be doing a Honey Birdette video today. Today, we are going to be doing something really exciting, something I've never done before and something that is really, really special to me. Um... If some of you are wondering why as like why I have not been posting videos, not that that's a big shocker, but it's been really hard throughout COVID because it's been really hard throughout COVID to be able to manage. Um, I don't know if most of you know, but my mother went blind last year in 2019. So coming into 2020, we were just getting over her being blind, getting through all of her operations. And then in about when COVID started, so March, to me really um it was really hard because my mother has a, a lung condition called CPOD or COPD and it's it's very bad I'm pretty sure you would have heard on the news if anybody with certain lung conditions and stuff like that got COVID they could get seriously sick and die now my mother has one of those diseases so after coming out of my mother being blind in 2019 and then COVID in 2020 I was not willing to make any videos. We shut down our house like most people did. My biggest concern throughout COVID and still now was trying to keep my mother um, healthy as possible because her risk, her getting that virus could potentially be the end of her and that's not how anybody should go out nor that's, ha that's not how I want my mother to pass away or even get sick. It's just, it's not something I wanted. So... It was really hard for me during COVID and it's been really hard and it's been really hard to get motivated and be positive and I know a lot of people were getting very um, positive and motivated in 2020 and unfortunately I was not one of them. One of my aunties lives in the States. Now my mother is an avid makeup collector. She loves makeup and she wanted to do something really special for me. How much I um, did for her. So what she decided to do with my auntie, who is an amazing person, thank you Auntie Soraya, I really do appreciate it. Um, she got my auntie to go around, before and a little bit in between COVID, to go to the TJ Maxx's and any stores that had the products that my mother wanted for cheaper, because obviously you get it a lot cheaper in America. Um, my auntie went around and went and got some stuff for me. Now, I do not know what is in these boxes. I do know, like, little things here and there. Like, I know there's some American toothbrushes in there, which I'm stoked about. Um, but also, uh, yeah, so I don't really know what's in these boxes. Like I said, I know what a few little things are here and there. But I don't know the full contents of the boxes. And they're two, and they're pretty heavy. Okay, guys, let's get opening these Boxes. So guys, let's open this box. I may have to do it a little bit off screen because literally there are so many addresses on this box that I don't want to be exposing myself. So, uno momento. Okay, so on opening, this is probably the lightest box out of the two. Upon opening it, there is some beautiful green foam. It's alright, we're done. Put it away. No, let's... JK, just kidding. With some good old fat, fat receipts. That's how we like them. Okay, so upon opening the box, I see a Kate Summerhill Nourish Daily Moisturiser, which is good because me and my mum absolutely... It's Kate Somerville... No, focus on the packaging. The Kate Somerville um, moisturizer. Me and my mum absolutely love to do our skincare. So this is absolutely amazing to add to our collection because we always think it's good to have a multitude of like moisturizers and stuff because your skin gets used to it after like say a month of using one specific moisturizer. So it's good to always change it up and to find, and me and my mum also are totally drastic in skin types. I'm fully oily and my mother is fully dry. So it's always good to have multitudes of different products that do different things for different types so that me and my mum are always getting the full um, benefits out of our products. 
So that's our first little item. All right, so also in here we got the Laurier Mercier Paris New York Panoramic Mascara, which is awesome. I always love to try new mascaras and find ones that are really good for me because I have small eyes. It is great to find different ones that are going to like separate my lashes and stuff without getting a whole bunch of gunk on my actual eye so really excited to try this and I haven't heard much about it but I bet my mum has and she knows uh, okay next we have a Laura Geller New York Glow Beyond two piece luminous kit includes one super sized high def glow illuminator in sunbeams one hydrating lip gloss topper in sunbeams sunbeams Woo! something different and apparently my mum has informed me that apparently um, Laura Geller may potentially be going out of business that's that's the word on the street you know the tea um, so it's always good to have multitudes of products once again it's very similar to moisturizer that you want multitudes of different products to do different things and because me and my mum also um, share our makeup obviously we do not share mascaras or anything where we can transmit but um we will share uh powders and sometimes eyeshadows and stuff uh, highlighters who cares you know like it's my mom so that is also really awesome and i'm really excited to try that out now i'm not going to be swatching anything or like digging into the packaging because if i did that I'll be here for 10 years. Like, if there's something special that I really see that I really like that I really want to show you, then I'll pull it out and pull it out of its packaging. But, uh. Okay, so, which is also really cool. we got another Laura Geller um, Glow Beyond. This is the Moon Dust. So, you got the Moon Dust and um, Moon Dust. You got the Moon Dust uh, lip gloss and the Moon Dust Hydrate uh, the the High Def Glow Illuminator in Moon Dust. So that's really nice. The other one's very bronzy, where this one is very icy white. So that is going to be interesting to try out. Yes. Now we have the Kevin Aquan Jewel Pop Glass Glow Mini Lip Collection. Woo! Isn't that awesome? And it comes with four different colours. A light gold, a deep gold, a pink, and a lighty pink. Yeah, so that's good. Different. Multi, uh, very... Ugh, 12 bucks. Here in Australia, to get that for twelve ninety nine, you'd have to be robbing someone. Oh, this one feels heavy. Kevin Aquan. So, what we've got here is the Jewel Pop Face and Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is the Jewel Pop Kevin Aquan Eyeshadow Palette. This looks really, really, really cool. I like the packaging. And it feels very, very heavy. Really heavy. I may, if depending on how many palettes there are, I may open some up. Maybe, if you're lucky. Okay. Next, we've got another Laura Geller New York Midday Refresher. Three-piece kit includes one brush, uh, one, br one brush, one blush in rosebud, one mini high-def glow illuminator in sunbeams, one beautiful bold uh, volumizing mascara. So, I've already gotten sunbeam in another one of the packages. So, let's say that could go to my mum. Could go to my mum, my sister, anybody. So, it's always good. I can always give that away. It's not like I'm doubling up on a product. But if I liked it, I'd want to double up. Um, so, yeah, that's very interesting. This is what the back looks like. That's what all the three products look like. So, now we have a couple of... What is this? This is the Steeler. We've got a couple of Steeler Shimmer and Glows. Ooh! In the cover... Uh, in the cover? In the colour Vivid Jade, which is my sister's name, conveniently. There we go, in Vivid Jade. Very, actually, I'm just going to quickly open this. Not that I'm going to swatch it, but I just want to see, I just want to... Oh, wow! What is this? Wow, this looks very similar to another one that I have. 
and it's not vivid jade i know that that's really really pretty because it's got almost like a like in person it's almost got a blue purple reflect but still very green Woo! i love me some shimmering glows they're always fun to experiment with like especially for like if you want to do a cut crease and do like you know that glitter line like in the cut crease that's fun okay next we've got another another stealer product it is the beauty boss uh the beauty boss lip gloss in the shade in the black in the black Whoa! that is so cool that is such a cool shade that is not something you would see every day. I know I say I wouldn't open anything or swatch anything, but... Wow! It's like black with little reflex of... Uh, what? Pink, blue, whatever tickles your fancy. The whole rainbow's on this one. That is so different. That is so cool. That is something I see um, a very gothy kind of girl wearing um, anyone who's kind of like into that dark scene. Um, that is really nice. It is some. It is so different. It's not something you would have every day. Or like a fancy dress or something. Like that is so cool. I really like that. Put the packaging back there. We've got some more Kate Somerville. Uh, this is the Active Concentrates. I'm guessing that's the line, maybe. Um, the Hydrating Pump and Hydrating Re... So this is a serum. Oh, it's like a high... It's like a hydraulic... Uh, not a hydraulic, what is it? Uh, high... Hyaluronic. It's a hyaluronic serum. So that's nice. I always like me a good hyaluronic serum. Yeah, I always like me a good serum. So that's really nice. Very interesting. More skincare to add to me and my mum's big collection. Next, we have a Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So what, was this like a translucent? Yeah, so this is like a translucent powder. Woo, how much was it? It was $9.99. What a bargain. Over here in the show, that would be around $40. So a bit of a rip-off, but... I got it from America. Okay, next we have another lip gloss by Stila in the shade White Space. So that's really cool. I've got like a whitish one. I've got a darkish one if I wanted to be like extra fun cool. Extra trendy. Um, so now we have a liquid lipstick in the shade Naked. Which is very similar to like the shade I have in the middle of my ombre right now. It is like a, a pale colour. A pale pink colour. Which is good. It's always a good uh, mixing lipstick. So, we have... It doesn't really say. The MAC Shiny Pretty Things Face Compact in the colour Fair. And it comes with a highlighter, a blush, and a contour. A contour. And that's what it looks like on the back. And my auntie got this for $19.99. Which is pretty decent. It feels very heavy. The one thing I do not like is... You, how would... Wh what? How do you know what this is? Unless you go to the back... In really tiny writing it says and now since my mother's gone blind and just little like come on put it in bigger fonts like it's not that hard like you could put in a bigger font front front font in the front so this is the liquid glitter eyeshadow yeah the liquid glitter eyeshadow in the colour, it doesn't say... In the colour... Licorice. Just have a look at this because it doesn't... Woo! Very different. Uh, it's something I... Like this like this colour is something you see a lot in the liquid... Uh, uh, the, liqu the Stila Liquid uh, Shimmer Eyeshadows. 
Um, and I feel like this is a colour you find in a lot of makeup palettes. So I don't feel like it's like um, really that extra special. Like, I hope I didn't get any of that on my camera. I don't feel like it's extra. Oh, no, I lied. I was a liar. Oh, wow, well, no. No. So it comes up like black with gold where in the actual tube and on the uh, packaging it looks like kind of like more gold. Like that atypical gold you expect to see in like every freaking palette. But this is black with gold. Ooh, that's different. See? That's different. Giving you a sly thumbs up. Wow. See? See, now you can see it. That's nice. That's different. That was like something different, don't we? Seeing as this is the first time we've done this. Next, we have the biggest thing in the, uh, uh, the box, which I've been waiting to do last, is an Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, mini matte lipstick set. Now, I did know this was going to be in here because my auntie didn't pick it up on one of the first times she went to TK. And we call it TK, it's TJ over there. But I'm just going to call it TK. Um, when my auntie went into TK for the first time, uh, she, the woman put this back on her and then she was like hella pissed off. And I was like, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. So the next day she had to go back and get it. Isn't that funny? Anyway, so this is that. Uh, it's price 60 of the value of 75. And, is it? and my auntie got it for 39.99. What a bargain! Let's open this one up. I lied. I said we wouldn't open anything up, but I have. That is stunning. How pretty is that? Let's open one up, shall we? Not easy to get out of their boxes. Woo! Look at that orangey red mat. Let's quickly swatch it too. Why not while we're here? Oh! Ooh! That is really nice. That is really nice colour. Really, really nice. They don't smell weird either. Which is always good. Don't you hate something when you buy something and it smells like odd? Just odd. So that's really awesome. I'm really excited to look at that. If anybody wants me to go through any of this stuff in detail, like I can always do another video swatching everything and reviewing everything, doing like a first impressions, let me know and I will do that. So... And then we've got the last product here, which is the Red Carpet Ready Palette Face and Eyes by Laura Geller. Um, for my mum, who is learning um, to do her eyeshadow in that, these two shades are honestly perfect to start off any look, really. Throw that in the crease, throw that to deepen your eye. A little bit of that in the centre or to highlight. Like, that's this is a perfect palette for my mum. Plus, it is a great... Um, face palette because you could use that for a uh, contour and you could use that for a highlight so me and my mum were really excited to get this and I'm really excited to try it out now that is the end of our first box and that wasn't even the heaviest box so let's get into it so I don't know if you can see just behind me that is everything we've gotten so far obviously it's not all the way over but that is a majority of stuff we've gotten so far and it's obviously quite a big haul already but now we're about to open box number two my mother doesn't do anything in small doses all right now so ow i just hit myself in the face all right bubble wrap Did I just smack you in the head? Whoopsie! Oh, thought something was on top of that. These are honestly, like, I love everything I've gotten, especially so far, but this is probably what I'm most excited about because this is, 
These are electric toothbrushes that you put in a battery. And like obviously you brush your teeth. So I was really excited for these because they, we do not have these in Australia. If you have an electric toothbrush, it's going to be a thicker one at the base and it's like round. It's like a children's one or you have a chargeable one. Not one that you can just put a single battery in and use it for like, I don't know, however long you use a toothbrush. But like six months, I could say you could get six months wear and tear out of this if you changed the battery properly because when I had one, when I came back from America, I didn't put the battery in properly, I broke the clip and then there goes all the vibrating powers and then your teeth don't get cleaned as good. So I'm really excited for these. Would 10 out of 10 recommend if anybody could send me some more because you know they're an investment. Uh, yeah, you know, probably the best thing I've gotten so far. Um, yeah, you know. So, we also got some, uh, Con, Con Air Lift and Define for thick hair. Now, I do not have thick hair, but my mother has severely thick hair. Uh, well, not severely, but because she has, uh, she used to and still does have ringlets, um, the texture of that makes her hair very frizzy. So these are really good for her to brush out her hair because a brush will rip out her hair and it just can be really frustrating for her sometimes. So that's really good for mum. Mum getting presents in my packages. Yeah. What's the world coming to? Okay, so next we have an hourglass ambient. So, my mother's gotten us the Strobe Ambient Hourglass Palette. Now, I do have the bigger version of this, and I just debated on my mum whether we have this, because sometimes she buys doubles of stuff. Um, this is really nice. I do not have this, and I do have... I am wearing um, some of the ambient powder, or, like, their eye shit that you can use underneath the... Wait, what is it called? BRB. Yeah, the finishing powder. I use the finishing powder today. So I, I do quite like Hourglass's um, uh, formulas, products. And this is brand new, obviously. We did not get this from a store. My auntie has... Uh, we did not get this from TJ Maxx or anything. My auntie has bought this for us in... Oh, you can't even Support. see that. In Sephora. You can't even see it, so don't even worry. But it is beautiful. Really nice shades. Gorgeous. They went on really nicely. You cannot see that for Shiznick. Oh, kind of. But, yeah. Really nice colours. Really, really nice colours. I'm actually really excited about that because I love me some good highlight. And there's nothing wrong with having some good highlight. So, in this box, my mum has informed me this will be a lot more Sephora and stuff like that. Not necessarily TJ Maxx or Marshalls or anything like that, where the other stuff could have potentially been from TJ slash TK or Marshalls. Next, we have... See, this will be from one of those places. We've got a Burt's Bees blush, which is absolutely stunning. It's like a... It's more of a... Uh, in toasted cinnamon. It almost looks very similar to a uh, bronzer in real life, but it is, it would also be a really nice, um, blush. But it doesn't, it, it does look like a bronzer, but I reckon I could get away with it. So I'm really excited to try that. My mother says a lot of people like that. So that will be really interesting. I usually, like, you would think I'm sad, but this is a blush. This is probably my favourite blush, and it's because I just know it works with my skin tone. I'm wearing it today. This is a blush that my sister had in her, like, shit makeup, like, ten years ago. And I've kept it. And I I love it. I'll be sad when I've gone through the rest of that. So you can kind of see how, like, I will like this sort of colour. It's a more muted sort of version of this, but this is more cooler. And, yeah, more cooler, where this is, like, a peach like in your face. So this is the Ruby's Profusion palette. It is really beautiful and colourful. It's always good to have multiple um, different uh, uh, eyeshadow palettes in your collection because you don't know what's going to work for your skin, blah, da, 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 da. So that is really lovely. And this is stuff that um, if my nieces or, well, not my nieces, if my little cousins come over or anything like that, I'll, I'm more, uh, uh, 
like uh, welcoming to do their pa uh, their makeup with this, like their eyeshadow with this instead of my Natasha Denona palettes because, yeah, not gonna do that. So that's really nice, very lovely. Some beautiful shimmers in there. Probably my favourite one would be this one and that. Hello, fresh. Very interesting. Okay, next we have the Milani eye pencil smooth glide on application waterproof formula we will see my mother says this is amazing but we'll see because of my hooded eyes i try to not put any eyeliner or anything on my bottom lashes because or my top lashes because if i do as soon as i do the top lash is going to bleed down onto my waterline here and then i look emo so it's really hard for me to get a uh uh, an eyeliner pencil that doesn't smudge so I'm really excited to try this out and I'll let you know what I think uh, CVS Pharmacy multiple other things okay so ooh. so this is something I did know that was going to be in here and it is very expensive and I'm really excited to get my little old handsies on this one. This is the La Mer The Powder. Now, if you don't know, this powder is raved about a lot by a lot of different people. And it is extremely heavy in this box. Like, this is... $200. This is heavy. Now, this is $200 here in Australia. Now, this isn't something, obviously, a lot of people couldn't be able to purchase a powder for $200. How, how much is in it? So it is 2.8 Oz, 8 grams. Hmm, interesting. It feels very heavy. Now, the reason why I am someone who would spend $200 on a powder, well, my mum, but the reason why she would do it for me is because I'm extremely oily. Powders is probably one of the biggest things I own in my collection. So, like, like translucents and all different sorts of translucent powders and stuff like that I have because I want to find the best powder for me now at the moment that is Laura Mercier but let's see if Leo Le Mer can take that out awesome oh my god look at it Des Los Pruda is what it says on the back Des Los Pruda so now we've got a Provision cosmetic angled liner brush but still always good to have multiple brushes in your collection. You don't have to wash them as much. So now we've got uh, Topaz Gem Profusion Cosmetic Glitters. Now these glitters look like the glitters you would get in like a, a child makeup palette. But it's always good to try because te uh, formulas have changed a lot. And it'd just be nice to try. I really like that colour. That colour looks really, really interesting. Another couple of Profusion glitter palettes in two different colours. One's more of a pink, the other's more of a blue. I love those blue colours and I love the pink colours. These are really, 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 really fun. Another Profusion's Cosmetic Emerald palette. This is gorgeous. I love this colour story. Very different, very beautiful, very vibrant. You only get one, two, three, four, four mattes and the rest are shimmers. And my mum says that a lot of people really love the colours in here and the pigments. So it'll be very interesting to try. Woo! So next we have an Anastasia lip gloss set. Now, where was this from? Sephora? I'm yeah. guessing this was from Sephora. So bought brand new. Oh my god, look at that. Wait. And I'm pretty sure this is a colour that I absolutely love. Like, it's a gloss, but I love... Is it a gloss? Yeah, it's a gloss. It's a gloss? They're all glosses. Shh. They're glosses, okay. All right. All right. All right. They're glosses. And this one, I'm pretty sure I have in a smaller size, and I really, 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 really love it. It's really nice. And these two look stunning. Stunning. Really excited. Love the packaging. Gorgeous. Oh, my back. Woo! Now, these are something we've been waiting for 
for a while. My mother bought these because we recently bought the Dior, Dior, Dior Air Flash Foundation and we thought it was amazing. Like, it was so beautiful. When you do not have any, like, texture, like, not even texture. If you're someone who doesn't have a lot of, um, like, let's say dry skin or scabs on your face or anything like that, the Dior foundation was beautiful. Gives you such a beaut... It's so different to the way I do my makeup because I pack on my foundation. So when you spray on a foundation and it just looks naturally perfect, how your skin's really meant to look, it was so confusing, but it was so beautiful. And I couldn't wear it today because I've got a lot of texture on my cheeks and stuff. But these I'm really excited to try out. We got the colours um, Fair... Um, light and fawn. Now, I remember when we watched videos on these, there were not a lot of, um, colours. And, like, obviously, these are very three different colours. So, it'll be interesting to see what shade's actually going to be my shade. It'll probably be funny if, if it's this white yellow one. But I reckon it will be this yellow one. And, obviously, you can always adapt a foundation's colour to you anyway with bronzers and stuff like that if it's not too highly contrasting but that is so awesome they feel so cold they are so cold but when i touched the dior one today it was like extra chilly so i guess they're just cold packaging how cool is that i'm so excited yeah okay next we have a couple of little samples now like i said me and my mother have uh avid skincare collectors so we've got the watermelon hydro uh, hyaluronic acid for radiance and softening made in korea and for oily to combo skin which is like me perfect isn't that nice very cute samples i love this is by glow recipe so they do all the watermelon the banana creams the uh, sorry and the avocado so yeah We also have a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Now, I do already have one of these in the larger sizes, but you can never have more than one of these. I truly think it is an amazing um, uh, setting spray. And for somebody who um, doesn't usually have, um, doesn't usually wear, uh, like, uh, luminous sprays, I think it's beautiful. Like, it doesn't make you look overly shiny because someone who's already oily is already shiny they don't need more like shine but because i usually mat down my face and then throwing this over just gives me that beautiful light like she's been out all day she may be carrying a baby like some sort of nice glow so this also came in a set but because it's all been d uh, my auntie's taken it out of the packaging to save room there will be some more um, products with this, and I'll tell you if they obviously came in a pack, if I know. So I'm guessing this is one of the products that came in, is the Tatcha Water Cream. This is such a beautiful product. Like, it just, I love Tatcha's stuff. It just feels so beautiful, clean, like, the colour's beautiful, like... Tatcha's stuff is just always so nice. Mm, yeah, and that's before you open it. And the, it smells so similar to the Skin Canvas Primer. It smells almost act, actually identical. This is such a cute little mini too, like that. Like, and great, a great amount of product that's in there. Like, it's literally filled to the brim. Great for traveling. And you can tell it obviously has a couple of air pockets in there. But still, like, that is a great amount of product. I can't remember. I don't know how much we bought it for. But amazing. Okay, so next we have a Mini Miracle Eye Wand Dynamic Duo Lift and Illuminate by Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh! Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, was this the one Tati tried? Okay, so Tati did a review on this about three years ago and... Watching her doing the review, it, it 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 severely made a difference. And what it is, is it is a, a miracle lift and uh, illuminate one. So one side you put on a, like an eye, 
uh, an eye cream that's in here, and it kind it's kind of made. This is uh, also generated for olderish women, like not olderish, but like mid to thirties to later in your fifties. Um, it's meant to tighten up once you put on the eye cream. It's meant to tighten up all the skin underneath your eye and give you a more strong, um, luminous, uh, like wrinkle-free um, base and yeah, appearance. Where the concealer on the other side, it's not really a concealer. I'd say it's more of like a BB cream slash concealer. Um, is meant to cover and it did such an amazing job on Tati I'm really excited to try this out on my mum and to try it out on myself even though I'm not in the age demographic that it is um, Marketed for but it's still something you see it, it's just I'm I'm somebody who My if I do not get enough sleep or if I haven't drunk enough water or so on or so on my eyes get extremely puffy and will pop out of my head almost like I've been stung by something so this is really really exciting to try this and have something like this especially for if I ever have older friends or anything like that and I just want to make them up I can do it really quickly really simple so that is really excited visibly brush away bags and dark circles which I have interesting so now we've got some other little minis, which is the water, the Glow Recipe Water Glow Sleeping Mask. And then we've got the Banana Souffle uh, Moisturising Cream, which is really, really awesome. These are good. These are really awesome to have. Because this is stuff me and my mum go through very, very, very quickly. Okay, now this is... Oh, we got another silk canvas. Okay, so... I mean with the kit. The, this kit we got, which is the Tatra stuff, the water cream, and the water moisturizer, and the luminous uh, spray, the luminous setting spray, you do get a tiny, tiny, tiny silk canvas in the set, which, oh, I'm wearing this primer today. Oh, it doesn't come with the little thing. That's sad. That's how much you get in it, and it is quite deep. Um, I absolutely love this um, primer. I don't think you could get a better primer. It's made my skin today look absolutely stunning. Uh, it is so good. If you're somebody who's been uh, wondering, uh, like looking to find a new primer, I would definitely recommend this 100%. It is worth the money and it's going to last. Now, I have the bigger one and you can obviously see that like that's not even half the size of the big one, but I've barely used my big one. You're like not because I didn't want to, it's because like there's so much in it and it's such a nice product. You don't want to use it that much and you only do need the tiniest bit of product like literally like as big as your nail that's how much product you need all over your face you dot it in you rub it in the nicest smell too and they've recently brought out a liquid version which is so similar to this like i know they're the same product but you can get two things from the same line that one's meant to be um interpreting the other but in a different sort of um form or a different sort of formula and it is so similar. They really did a great job at comparing the, like, the, this sort of one, like the putty one, to the liquid one. It is so nice. Here, wait. So, this. This is amazing. All three of these, which these two are the same products, and these essentially are the same product, but in different formulas, are amazing. You have to try it. If you can't get one, get, get the other. Okay, next we have a Fenty Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. We've got, I'm pretty sure these are two uh, lip duo, Gloss Bomb and Double Take. So I'm guessing those are the names. Two very um, me colours. Uh, one's like a very lightish pink shimmer and the other one is uh, um, a gloss that has more actual uh, glitter particles in it where the other one is more of a sheen. That's good. That's really nice, very something different and something new to try out. I'm just trying to get into glosses recently. Okay, so then we have the Drunk Elephant TLC Frem, Frame Booze Glycolic Night Serum. And then we've got the Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. 
I'm pretty sure we have this. We already have both of these in full sizes. So yeah, they're good to have for traveling. You can refill them if you already have the bigger versions. And yeah, I think they're great to have. You can never have enough skincare. Oh, I am so, so, so excited to try these. Everyone raves about Vizier. And I'm so, so, so excited to finally see if their bark's as big as their bite. Woo! Oh, no. Broken. I can already tell. Yeah, it's broken. Gosh, I hate lime. Why? Like one whole shade's like a couple. Anyway, I'm not going to fiddle with this too much now. I really did want to, but I'm going to try and repair that. So I'm just... It's not like we can send it back. Yeah, no. So I'm just going to try and repair that. And yeah, I don't want to touch it or fiddle with it too much because I don't want all the product to go everywhere. Like, I'm already, like, don't get me wrong. I'm so grateful for everything I've gotten. But everyone knows when you get a palette you're really excited for and it breaks, you're absolutely devastated. Pretty decent. Not as, not as amazing as I, like, I thought first swatches but it's also been tra whoa that purple that purple is ready for revenge nice and let's try the broken color oh look how nice that was that's really disappointing so things happen so that is the first visi art palette i've ever gotten and it broke uh, no, uh, is the visi art professional makeup paris the petite pro 5 soleil so I guess that's all the colours, and that's the colour that's broken. So yeah, very nice, very interesting. I've done a couple of swatches on my arm, the yellow, that pink's the one that broke, and the purple. So now we're going to open the next VZ Art palette and hope it isn't broken. I'll know as soon as I open it though. You can tell when all the little, those little bits of the palette floating around the packaging. <gasps> I've been so hurt by the last Vizzy Art palette. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one. Okay. Working too. Maybe. We'll see. Nah. No, just it's like, you know, where they, um, they shed a bit. So that is the other Vizzy Art palette I've gotten. I'm just going to do a couple of quick swatches. I know I said I wasn't going to swatch, but I want to swatch this. I just want to see what they look like. As I've never played with a Viseart palette before. Chevy. Eh, it's alright. It could also be my fingers too, but everything changed. Like, you cannot tell from a swatch what something's going to be. You've always got to try it on your eye. Try it with different primers and stuff like that. But these are do seem like really beautiful colours and I am really excited to finally do a look with a Viseart palette because it's something I wasn't able to do before because I didn't have it. Very beautiful, different sort of packaging too. I live for it. I live for it. Okay, next we have a little bag full of stuff. And it's just like, I don't know. I'm guessing she bought this little bag to put some of this stuff in. We've got the milk, the milk makeup, cooling water. Ooh, a lot of people have said this is really good. Uh, it's the water, um, the cooling water, like a uh, balm almost. And you like put it on your face just before you do your makeup and it can help cool down your face especially in summer and stuff like that I think this is really interesting that's really cool so next thing we have in this little little bag is the Charlotte magic cream 
uh, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisturizer, which is awesome. It's like a little sample size. That's going to be also really, really fun to try, play out with, and just see how it goes. Charlotte Tilbury is well known, so she should be doing some great things. Now, something else we've gotten in this little bag is a makeup eraser. Oh my god, I've been wanting one of these forever. I can use it after I finish, um, I can finish showing this video. Awesome. How awesome is that? Let's open it. Oh my god, look how tiny it is. Oh my gosh. And see, this is really good because to find out if I even like it, like, I've got to have the bigger version, like, if I like it. Like, if this, I decide I like it from this. This is great. Like, because say if you were, like, I know the bigger one, like, you'd just, like, eh, 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 eh. But for me, honestly, I like to keep as much of my, like, if I'm wiping down my eyes, I will wipe off all of my main foundation and break down all of the uh, product on my face and then I always go back in separately to my eyes because my eyes can be very sensitive and They don't like my eyes do not like oil in my eyes and stuff like that So this is honestly going to be a godsend so cushiony and plushy Oh my god Awesome so much stuff people. There's not even the half of it yet and then we have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea 4-in-1 Setting Mist. I do not have this. Oh, cold. I do not have this. So this is going to be really, really interesting to try out. Huh. How pretty is the packaging? So cute. Love Tarte's packaging. Next we have a Laneige. As a Laneige or Laneige, however. Laneige, Laneige slip Sleeping Mask, which is great. My lips are bum holy today so that is a great amazing for me because i need something like this so that's awesome forget about my mum this is mine now <laughs> she's watching me anyway so woo, some uh i'm guessing this is a little mini lip set by charlotte tilbury it's the pillow talk one yeah it's in pillow talk which is this is like one of her like most well-known colors isn't it and it's definitely a color I could say oh the smell it smells like cocoa that's gorgeous hope it didn't get in my nose just then it's got a really like strong twist up and you get a matching lip liner which is awesome I always love a little kit like this you can never get enough lip liners to be honest and then we've got the oh this is the Demi, uh, the Huda Beauty Demi Matte is a creamy texture, saturated. So it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip product, but it's like, how is that, how is that a lip product? Simple. Oh! Oh! That, this is pretty cool. I've got to admit, like, even if I wasn't going to use these, um, samples... I'd cut this out and hang this up. That's mega, mega, mega sexy. Like, that's some money, honey. Wow, that is so cool. Because I was thinking for a second, how are we going to get a lipstick out of this? I'm like, that's a different sort of packaging for a lip. Like, is it, like, hidden, squared in there somewhere? I don't know. Okay, now next, this is a big part. So this is the Water Glow PHA and Bar Pore Tightening Toner. So this is now in Australia, but when my mother ordered it, it was not in Australia. So this is really interesting. Me and mum have majority of the Glow Recipe um, stuff. So this is really interesting and also really fun to try. We love the watermelon stuff. It smells so delicious. So this is really cool. I'm so excited. Uh, Hydra... <laughs> Hyaluronic <laughs> Acid Cactus Water and Willow Bark. Get yourself some Willow Bark in there, mate. So that's awesome, 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 awesome. Then we have... So for me, this is like a dream come true. I'm absolutely so excited. So 
We've got the Sugar Advanced Therapy Fresh Balm, so that's really good. We've got the um, Pat McGrath Lip Balm, which my mother will take this because I stole her mini one, so she'll take the big one. We had already decided on this. I know, guys, don't cry. It was decided. Okay? Okay. I'm glad we got through that together. Okay, so then they've also got the full size tart. I don't know if that's a lip balm or not because it looks colored. So that is in the color rose. So I think it would just be like a tinted lip balm. And then I've got a Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. That's going to go excellent with the Laneige Sleeping Mask. Isn't that great? And then we've got the Peach Lip Balm by Too Faced. That is so great. Like, you Americans don't know how lucky you guys are to just have this and it is such a cheap, cheap price. This isn't stuff you could buy here. Like, the Pat McGrath uh, the Pat McGrath lip balm here in Australia is $60 on its own in a full size. So, if you got something like this for, I don't know how much my auntie got it for, but I wouldn't imagine it was any more than $30 or maybe a little bit more. That's a bargain. That is an absolute steal. So, $180 for this here in Australia most likely. So this is an absolute bargain. So now we've got the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. Do I have this? No. I don't You don't know me. Okay, sorry. You don't know? I may not. I may. No, I do not. I do not have this primer. So is this an eye primer or just a regular primer? Eye, I think. Is it an eye primer? Eye primer, yeah. So that's going to be really interesting. Very, very interesting to try. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Then we've got the Drunk Elephant Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. Ooh. At the time of ordering it, you could not buy it here. You may be able to now. So I can't speak for what's going on right now, but a couple of months ago when my mum initially bought this or ordered it, you couldn't get it here in Australia. So that's going to be fun time. Then we have the watermelon from Glow Recipe, the Ultra Fine Mist. This is amazing, smells amazing, is a beautiful to use once you've finished doing your skincare. 10 out of 10, love this stuff. Okay, next we have a Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer. We have ourselves some beauty pro climber. Now we have ourselves a beauty primer. So this is by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't recall ever hearing anything about this, but I'm really excited. I don't have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury stuff, so it's really exciting for me to try some of her stuff because it is so expensive here for stuff I don't know I'm going to like. And then we got, oh, I'm guessing this came in the set of the Tarcha stuff, and it is the Deep Cleanse. So I'm guessing it's a cleanser. Clarifying Japanese Luffa, Luffa Fruit Extract. Normal to oily skin. So for me, for me, for me. I'm oily. For me, not for mum. For me. Anyway, so that came in the Tarcha kit, which that's awesome. What, one, two, what, there was like four, four things in there? Mm -hmm. Did I put the, I might have put the other skin canvas back with the other one. And then the, the last and final thing, we've got some Olay Hendrickson uh, Balance Babies Mattifying Oil Control Set. Oh, this is great for me. I'm oil, I'm all oily. Um, so it comes with four products. It comes with a poor balance facial sauna scrub, a balancing force oil control toner, a cold plunge pore mask, and a counterbalance oil control hydrator. Oh my god, I'm living for this. This is awesome. I love oh, that oily skin. I love this. This is honestly so 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 cool. I love this. And this is something like if you did want to go traveling with two, cute little bag, you've got like essentials and you could fit some more stuff in there. That is so awesome. Like these kinds of sets you just can't buy in Australia. And so yeah, I'm actually really excited to try that. I can't believe all the stuff I've gotten today. This is all the stuff we've gotten. That's all the stuff we have gotten. Like, are you kidding me? That's so much stuff. Okay, guys. Um, 
I can't believe how much stuff we actually got in this haul. Like, and not just like stuff from TJ slash TK Maxx that you would like think, oh, it's been used. Oh my God, it's been tested. Oh my God. Eh. We got stuff from Sephora. We've got brand new products. We've got broken Vizier palettes. Like, what could a girl ask for? Like, what else could a girl ask for, really? Um, so I just wanted to say a special thanks to my auntie and my mum for going out of their way to surprise me with a lot of this stuff. And I know some of it's hers as well, but a lot of it's for me. So it's really amazing. Thank you to my auntie in America for going around and actually purchasing the stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you so much to everyone who's watching. Thank you for my auntie. Thank you for my family. Um, thank you so much. This is awesome. And I hope you guys like this video. Um, it's something out of the blue. Like, it's not something I planned. It just happened. And I hope you guys like just seeing me get a whole bunch of new goodies and just stuff. Because I don't have a life. So this is how my life goes, you know? You don't do things. You buy stuff. Um, so thank you so much, everyone. I really do appreciate everything you guys do for me as well as my family. Um... I will be having the give the 1000 giveaway uh, photo to start the contest up soon. So keep an eye out for that and you may be in the running to either win a Honey Birdette, a three piece Honey Birdette set or potentially a cash amount prize. But I am going to be doing another video on Honey Birdette soon that isn't necessarily going to be a lingerie like, review video. It's going to be a like... A, just a topic and just sitting down having a talk and whether what we all decide comes whatever we decide us as a community me and you people you who watches my videos what we're going to decide together is is if um is that is the honey bird set for the winner going to be worth it like does it does does do all of you as a winner potentially want a Honey Birdette set? A, a set that you pick out yourself? Is there something else that you would like as a prize? Like, anyway, we will all talk about it when I do that video, which is going to be in the next couple of days. And it is a very, very spicy video. It so, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for staying here to support me. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers and everyone who is just here supporting me, everyone who messages me, anybody who has any sort of contact with me, even if it's a dislike on my videos. Thank you. Thank you for even watching it. Thank you for even acknowledging it. Thank you for the guy who called me a degenerate three months ago. Like, I don't mind. If that's your personal opinion, do you, boo-boo? Thank you for watching my video, you know? I appreciate it. At least he had some opinion, you know? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, see ya later. Bye!